This guy goes on a date with 10 women at the same time. Well now, this should be entertaining. Then he has to choose one girl that he connects with for a master date. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Benjamin is a petroleum engineer slash entrepreneur. I'm a bit of an introvert, reserved. Uh, at the same time, I do have my uh, eccentric moments. Hey yo, this guy's such a walking cliche. Big black nigga, like he's a big, oof, and I love me some big black niggas. Okay. Also, I've always found it weird when people stop speaking about themselves in third person. Entry 01 is the kind of guy. Hold up. Wait a minute. No, 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 nigga. I'm the kind of guy. Simple as that. I'm sorry, I digress. Why are you still single? I'd just rather take my time, you know, make the right choice, because it's backfired for me in the past. Hmm. There's pressure from my family to get, you know, uh, hitched. Why are you getting married? I put pressure on myself as well because I've always wanted to be a young dad. But now I'm, I'm starting to realize I need to have the basics. I need to cover the basics first. I can't just rush into a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship. So when you meet your potential dates, what are you expecting? I have nothing in mind. So I'm just keeping my mind open. Right now it's a blank canvas. Whatever happens, happens. I'm just here to enjoy the experience and hopefully, you know, learn from it as well. This nigga is gonna clean up. He is gonna clean up. All these girls are gonna want him with that kind of accent. Uh, Benjamin is a walking cliche and all these women want me because I'm everybody's type. Come on, we all know. We all know it's not difficult for this guy to get some girls. He's just here to maximize his options. Are you nervous that they might not like you? Not really, you've never had that problem about people not liking me. You sound very arrogant about it. Well, I'm self-assured, not arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> you issue this nigga gonna clean up. I mean, is it cocky if it's true though? He's gonna have these girls eating out the palm of his hands with that kind of confidence. What are those? Good evening, ladies. Hello. Hello. Hi. You all look gorgeous, by the way. I'm Benjamin. Oh. Um, I'm excited to be here. I don't know about you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also quite nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Am I intimidating? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, hi What's Gina. Your name? Hi Benjamin. I'm Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin. She was paying attention. Can you be intimate with someone you met on the very first day? I think it's possible. I, I like, I don't you think... You met it... a girl in club and you can have sex with her that day. I'm not a clubbing person, so it's a hard question to answer. Um, but nah, it's a hard question to answer. I can't really stop the cap. Hold up, how is that a hard question to answer? When your only objective is to get hard. I'm part of my body's reason. Come down. I mean, if you met someone the first night and they attracted to you as you are attracted to them, and they made it easy for you to get with them. <laughs> you trying to tell me you wouldn't get with them? They're lies. You trying to tell me you wouldn't smash on the first night? But get the fuck out of here. Also, this girl is making her intentions very clear of all the questions she could have asked. Can you be intimate with someone you met on the very first day? Yes! 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 That is where she took it. The thirst is real. She wants the dick! Well, if you met someone on the first day, you can have sex with the person. Yeah. Well, it depends. It depends on the. On the <laughs> it depends on the connection. It probably wouldn't happen because, especially if I find the person interesting. If I think there's something deeper, I wouldn't want to do that. Oh no, no! Fuck! The lies. We all know if push came to shove, you would take the opportunity with both hands. Kanye West said it himself. If it falls on your lap, then it's a blessing. Bars. I saw him first before any other person. I went to take pictures outside and I saw what he looked like. I said to myself, this chick ain't going anywhere. I will wait till 12 a.m. Yes, bitch. Yes. Mm -hmm. For him. And he came. He was lovely. He was his breath. He can trust me. But I really didn't like his dressing. But that's cool, actually. The dressing doesn't count. His, um, his heart, his love, his pocket, I think that counts to me. I take it back. I take back what I said. She is not thirsty. She is dehydrated. I can't imagine why. Listen to her play the I saw him first card. As if that's going to give her an advantage. He looks good. Like he pays attention to his fashion. He's good looking. He has a way of getting you to talk and all. But that's... That's basically my first impression. He's really nice. He's someone that I would love to go on a date with. Yeah, you and every other girl on this panel feel that same way. Also, that one lady said his style is swack, and the other one said it's good. Which one is it? What's your idea of a perfect date? 
I am not regular. Not regular? No, I'm not. Ayo, hey, let me tell you something real quickly. Women do not know how to plan for dates. Only because they're not the ones doing all the pursuing and the convincing. She just said her perfect date is not regular. Or she said she's not regular. I don't know which one is it. But I can bet you that date will be pretty regular. No one does anything out the ordinary as a first date. But anyway, let's hear what she says is not regular. So my idea of a perfect date, wow you. Okay. Nothing very special. Could just go and play. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I man, how is that not regular? She just said, I will wow you. Then says nothing special just to end up saying we're just gonna play. That don't make no sense. See why I say most women cannot plan dates. Could just go and play. She wants the dick. And then for me to have a date with you, you must be extra funny. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sense of humor. Yes, you must have a great sense of humor. Because we must connect. I must fight for you. Huh? Yes, uh, I'm serious. Yes. <laughs> you must be, yes, you must be okay with it. I'm serious, she that is fight. me. Is she trolling? I must fight for you. Huh? I think she's trolling us. Serious. Bullets. Yes. <laughs> and I must admit, she was right. Nothing regular about that. Like, who makes 14 things you do on a date? Then on top of all that nonsense, as a guy, you need to be all funny and entertaining to her. When a date should just be a conversation between two people that want to understand if they want to do this life thing together. Aye, dating is so much work. Aye, aye, aye. The reason men and women will never understand each other. Men are a straight line. We are simple. Women are a twirl around, up, down, left, right. They are intricate as hell. For instance, if a man says I'm fine, that means I'm fine. If a woman says I'm fine, oh my gosh, I'm sorry for you. With women, there's always something underlying to what they say. So I'm fine never actually means I'm fine. You have to do a mathematical equation to figure out what's wrong with them. Let me give you another example. For instance, if a girl wants to approach a guy that already likes her, she doesn't even have to say anything crazy. She can literally walk up to him and say, me like you, and he will say, me like you too. Whenever a guy is approaching a girl, he has to come up with the best pickup line. He has to come up with something that will bedazzle her. Because anything that falls under spectacular, it's not going to work out. So in conclusion, men are too simple and women are too intricate. Thank you for your time. If this is the amount of work I have to put in for dates, uh, give me zero. Yes. I have to connect with you like that. So we have to have yes, fun yes. with it. Okay. Do you understand? No, like I I've that. done it now and then we're going to laugh. Okay. That's, that's my idea of a perfect date. Ah, I get it. Trust me. <laughs> wow. This is fun. <laughs> Why do I set some sarcasm in his voice? Wow. This is fun. Plus, it doesn't help that he said that with a straight face. I'm hoping by the end of this, I'll have a clearer indication of... Uh, who my final two will be. Oh, what's your favorite food? Oof, that's a tough one. Um, probably Afang. Um, right. <laughs> hey yo, is it just me or she's low-key suggesting what needs to happen right after the show? <laughs> she wants the dick! Okay, do you have any hobbies? Yes, I sing. Oh, I love do. to sing. Okay, would you like to perform a duet? Okay, so what's all? Sometime, not today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got I wasn't expecting you to say yes. <laughs> okay. Let the girl have a moment. She was ready to serenade him. I think he's a cute guy. I like his looks. And I like the fact that he likes music because I love music. And um, his kind of food, I got my kind of food. So um, well, what I don't like about him is just the dressing. Well, that can be worked on, but I think it's good. So the verdict right now is that two hunts say that he can dress and one says he can't. Also listen to this one say it's something that they can work on as if she's got a foot in the door. What are you so passionate about? Music moves me because I play a few instruments, so... Oh, any... what instrument do you play? Um, I play the guitar. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please just hold me. Oh my god. What else? What hold else? Hold, um, what else? What else? Uh, the the coochie on wet, wet. The piano. Oh, what else? <laughs> That's it for now. She wants the dick! <laughs> the dust is real with this one. That's it for now. <laughs> That's it for oh now. my god. I want to get you too excited. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 hold up. Yo, this relationship is moving a little too fast. L bombs have been dropped so early in the talking stage. Imagine once you get into a relationship with her. Bruh. <laughs> really, for me, if you don't know how to play any instruments, it's a no for me. Why? Because I am I'm very emotional. Yeah. And sometimes I prefer being tamed down with music than words. 
So if you know how to play the strings, you got me. Whatever it is, trumpets, anything that has a chord. <laughs> I go frozen. In it. Do you play any? Though? No, but I I'm the only one in my house who doesn't know how to play something. But I sing. So you can't date someone who can't play. No, you I can't. can. Play. I can, but it's this very special element. Like it's a massive like, bonus. Yeah. You know what this sounds like to me? It sounds like those girls that are always saying. I want a man with a house. I want a man with a car. I want a man with a job. And then you ask her, do you have any of the things that you have mentioned? No, I don't. Shut up, bitch. That thing is too big, it's scary. Like if I see him on the normal I'm gonna run away. He's too muscular, but that could work. What? What would be your idea of a perfect date? A quiet place, good view, light food, Are jazz, foodie? music. Yes, yes I am. But I don't want anything heavy. On the first day. First day, yes. I have to be able to connect with that person on a very deep level, yeah. not some random talk. Damn, Sylvia is cute. She's actually my type. Chocolate, natural, cute. Plus, she knows how a date should be. I think Benjamin is gonna choose this one. You don't Sorry. live here. Sorry. What? You don't. You weren't brought up here, were you? I... Where, where, you where are you? Where do you stay? Like, you can. I can hear. You know. Is what, it what? either London or Manchester? Like, what's happening? Yeah, Manchester. Oh, wow. Look at her using her accent as a trump card. Me, you with accents. Let's do this. We got accents. Let's do this. You know. Oh, wow. Manchester. You can hear Manchester. I can hear that. I lived no. there for about six years. Six years? Yeah. So you stayed in Nigeria? Uh, Nigeria, then Kent, and then Manchester. Okay. I just wanted to know if you're back for good. I'm back for good. Okay. For now. Yeah. My beloved Sylvia has competition now. That accent relatability is going to be a problem for her. You know. But my money's still on Sylvia. Oh, God. Ladies, do you want to go on a perfect date with Benjamin? Let's see it. So the ladies need to choose him before he chooses two girls. Then he's going to choose one girl that he's going to go on a master date with. God damn. So I have eight yes and two no's. Eight out of two. That's a distinction right there. I told you he's gonna clean up. I told you. He's a walking cliche. What's your type? Tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah? He's exactly what every second girl tells you that they want in a guy. Do you know the power of tall, dark, and handsome? No one cares! So, why no? I'm um, someone I really love, dark guys. Huh? I don't think me and him connect. Benjamin is really cool, but I was expecting a tall, dark guy. Uh, that don't compute. Benny rejected Benjamin because he's not tall and dark. Are we looking at the same person? Is this girl insulting our intelligence? Is this girl insulting our visuals? What we see? You know what? It's cool. It's cool. Let me calm down. Now I understand what they say. We look at the same things, but we don't see the same things. You know, has she just said she does not connect with him? I would have believed her. I personally think she wanted him, but realized that he vibes with a few of the girls, so she rejected him before he could reject her because she saw there was competition. Did you see Sylvia? And don't get me started on that girl with the accent. Not too buff, but very, very funny. I think me and him don't really flow like that, but he's, he's actually okay. He's okay, really. He's very okay, but I'm indifferent about him, right? Um, He's not my perfect match because he's way younger than I am. Age ain't nothing but a number. Nah, 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 nah. Justin, Benny and uh, Mimi said no to you. What do you think? Um, I was rather surprised by uh, Benny's uh, response, but I can understand. We didn't really get a chance to talk, so I don't hold it against you. Hmm. As for you, Mimi. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding. Um, you say I'm too young for you. I'm not sure maturity has anything to do with age, but that's that's fair enough. That's your response, and I respect that. So, you've seen the um, the verdict. Mm. I think I'm going to ask you who are your top two. Let's hear your own verdict. But for my top two, again, my money on Sylvia. Again, my money is on Sylvia. Still, what I like about him is that he's not like he doesn't seem like a like a two 
outgoing person. Like, he seems really chilled. Should have seen her coming. Not entirely surprised. It's the accent. I have an accent. You have an accent. Let's accent together. So bougie. Um, I think he's actually a very simple person. Looking at him, he doesn't have stress, I guess. Let's go, Sylvia. Let's go. Ish, but I want Sylvia for myself, guys. Honest truth. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. So what exactly do you do? Um... Like I said yesterday, I'm a patrolling engineer. Mm -hmm. That is what I do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I have other side gigs. Again? Same, same. Please take this off. My glasses? Yes. I can't see your face if I take them off. And I want to see your face. Thank you. That bad? Yeah, I'm blind. So what about you? What do you do? What's a typical um, day like for you? I'm a hairstylist. Really? Yeah, I moved here to actually set up shop. Oh, really? Yeah, two years ago. How's that working out? Well, almost two years ago. It's good. It's different. I didn't get the chance to really talk to you yesterday because of... Really? I felt like I spoke to you the most. <laughs> no, it was Gina you spoke to the most, not me. So Gina spoke to me the most. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. You're looking for a relationship? I hope to find one, yes. Hmm. How long has it been since? Uh, it's been a couple of months. Really? Yes. You're fresh. You're not looking for nothing then. What do you mean? Aren't we? Like you just left a relationship a couple months ago. Yeah. Then healing well, process. I a couple of months. But I mean, like eight, nine months. Okay. What kind of mother are you into? Nude modeling. Nude. Yes, nude. Really? Yes. So that's it. Only nude. Do you do? Um, I I do lingerie too. I'm obsessed about lingerie. Obsessed about lingerie. So you have like a massive collection of different. Oh my god. You have no idea. I would like to own my lingerie line someday. Really? Yes. Sophia is a naughty naughty one, huh? She a little freaky one, huh? I see you. Ah, Tracy is a little bit too serious. In all honesty, Tracy is usually the kind of girl that I would bang. And Sylvia is the type of girl that I would cuff. But let's see who Braben goes for. Hey, Tracy. Hi. Ah, fuck, man. I thought Sylvia was going to take it. You're quite the sassy one, aren't you? Are you going to, like, regret your choice? No. Because I can be quite sassy as well. You? Yes. It won't even be cute. So you think you're cute? Yeah. Am I not? I mean, I think you are, but I mean, do you think you are? Yeah. 